Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today I'm actually working on this new shell. Oh, and I guess I've edited this wrong, so sorry about that. I guess. Uh, so let's just wait a few seconds. Apparently, because, yeah, and yeah, and let's just get right into it. Sorry about that weird edit. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't merge those the regular footage and the uh, actual footage. But yeah, so I'm actually trying to build it similar to. The design the neighbor, which is obviously not a real uh, build, build, I think it's just like a debug house that th this neighborhood has. And yeah, so um, this yeah, this shell is just called Strange Shell, which I mean, to be honest with you, I feel like this is not too strange in my opinion. Yep, and I just turned on my cheat because apparently I always forget to turn on my cheat the first time I play. But yeah. So what I was thinking was put the stairs there, and yeah, that will probably be like kind of like a bathroom. Because I mean like, the stairway has to be in the center, so that's okay spot. But I think I move it like one tile later. But yeah, I also decided to move the kitchen to the all the way to the other side because I felt that was more appropriate space. So yeah. And yeah, that, and then that is where my dining room is. So I, yeah, I think, oh, actually I think eventually, yeah, I moved the front door because I felt like that was it was weird so like I feel like that's more like and then I flipped that so that the island is sort of kind of back on the other side so it's more accessible from the front and yeah this will be like a big living room area and yeah also have a fireplace I was trying to limit my packs I think that was the cats and dogs one but do I, ch I don't know if I change it but yeah I try to keep this small stuff. But also, this yeah, this so as a result, it sort of is kind of like old set. Oh, wait, okay, so that's actually a change it to the cottage living one. Okay. And yeah, so I'm I'm used, I'm doing the same trick as I always do. Like put that TV, that standing one, on that kind of ledge, though it floats in real life. And yeah, I think that that, that room will become the office. And yeah, the. I'm putting the doors in. Yeah, I'm also kind of trying to see what swatches I'm going to use. Just basic white for now at least. And yeah, I use those. Just, I think I use it like one or two times in actual. And I actually leave that small gap, a uh, weird area in the back because I didn't know what to put there. So if you guys are going to download it, I uh, it would be great if you guys would like maybe like hashtag. Uh, I don't know, hashtag DC98, I guess. I'll probably check it out, maybe. Yeah, and this is just me putting finishing the entrance a little bit more. And upstairs, I just continue it up the same area, which actually was not bad, I think. And then, yeah, also, like, because I also wanted, like, two... It, I needed, like, two... Uh, the window I was cutting off, and also I felt like that should have been, like, a hallway, so I just extended that. And then the upstairs, is well I'm going to first finish this set this place which was gonna have two rooms I think one toddler room with two toddler beds and then one teen room just one bed there yeah um, yeah I'm just laying out what I want at least in this room and yeah I decided to change that and put that there instead I think I made this teenager kind of like a rock and roll kind of style though that's a guitar I realized yeah or like somewhat like a music kind of kind of guy, I guess. And that one actually was that swatch. I think was well, not that swatch, but yeah, it had the orange and kind of swatch. Like I like that because it's like kind of similar vibe to that actual bed. And yeah, I, I think I changed those beds, but for now I do use that. And obviously, there in between will be like a bookcase. It looks nice. It fits perfect. Yeah, and there I'm like. This, this, I should try using different ones, so I use those cars, car beds instead. And yes, as always, I put some blurfies and some plushies and dollhouse, two dollhouses, because they're very right parents, I guess. And yeah, I was like uh, thinking between like loft or a room, but like I wanted them to have somewhat of a private space, so I decided to like, kind of make a really small tight area. And yeah, so I also kind of blocked off that weird one corner area, and then yeah, the a lot of a big uh, 
ensuite, I guess, but it, it's nice. It was, I, I say big, but like, I felt it was like a bit tight. I don't know why. Because like, I couldn't fit, I also had to fit a toilet, which I do fit. Oh, I guess I could have like, uh, removed that weird corner bit and then like put the toilet inside there so it's like more private, but I mean, whatever. And yeah, I was like also struggling like which wood to use. I think I used this first one, which looks nice. I mean, it's basic, obviously. And yeah, I'm also now furnishing the kitchen. I'm not using the most expensive. I think I'm using the second most, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, just the sink and obviously like counter spaces. I think I also put the long one. Yeah, that one goes at the end. I don't know if it makes sense, but it looks nice. I want it. I'll, I always like those big ones to fit somewhere. And yeah, and just putting some bar stools. So, and I think I used to go with this sort of theme, or like that chair everywhere else. Like I don't at first. Yeah, and then this one comes with green, which is like perfect. It's like the green and the, on the chair. So like it's kind of like a green themed, I guess, in the base. I mean, not base, but the first floor. See, so yeah, I'm trying to look for that chair, but I was having a hard time. I, I used this one at first, but I do eventually find the other one that actually has that. And yeah, like, yeah, I'm also trying to keep the similar wood swatches. Not exactly the same, but I mean, it's okay. And then I think, yeah, the, that inside is like there is like I think more blue swatch there. And yeah, uh, I do use, yeah, then that one has a similar wood swatch. And then I just block off that area as well because it didn't make sense to have that weird and then yeah so as you can see it's blue over there and just more like here and there uh, yeah it's just changes so it's like the same color which and the same I think it's the same style and yeah I also added the toddler potty which I always kind of forget but I decided I remember uh, I actually don't think I put a trash bin inside here so oh well but yeah, and I use the basic like kind of beige wallpaper, which looks nice. It's a vibe, not too fancy. I mean, not too like um, messy. And then yeah, obviously blue in there. And there I just put some. I think that yeah, the same tiles thing in there. And then just like white tile. Oh no, I changed it to the white tile and then also white tile on the bottom. Yeah, um, here I think I yeah also added a desk there because I think it was like it was empty so I needed to put some more stuff in there. And yeah, it's like orange kind of. Did I keep that? I think. I, and then yeah, I'm trying to look for like kind of like a musician, like kind of their very hard rock maybe style. And yeah, also more windows because you can never have too much windows. I mean, you can but. Here is fine. And yeah, I'm trying to have like also a kid's style window. Oh, <laughs> I do fix that. Yeah, there, I fixed that. And yeah, this style I like. And I also like that kind of kind of earthy feel. I, just, I don't know why I like that to swatch. And yeah, I'm again now trying to look for more. Uh, and I I did find that, which is like cooking. And then I find this one, which is obviously the rock. And then I use this other one. It was overlapping weirdly, so I had to swatch. Swap those and then yeah, I'm just letting yeah, and that I think is like kind of a drawing of someone singing, so that worked. And I also literally like that kind of pipe measuring thing, which did perfect and was working well here. Though I do change the thing, I think I changed the windows later, but yeah, also added some just dinosaur wall decals, and yeah, continued that uh, beige everywhere else in the main areas, and yeah, I'm just also now finalizing the. I also kind of like these like wood style stuff. I wish there was like an older style looking mi mirror for that one, but it's okay. And I use a yellow, oh no, blue, kind of like a greenish or like cyan to that kind of more greener wallpaper there, as you can see. And yeah, maybe the, I was thinking like parents are, one of the parents is at least like an artist maybe. And yeah, more just more windows. Oh yeah, so I don't know why sometimes like that those like windows like just sink into the wall and like you, yeah. And I'm trying to find a smaller one because obviously that's a a bathroom. You don't want to see into it. So, but I was having a bit hard time to look for what I wanted. I remember that one was like like the wooden yeah the brown one with 
But wait, I changed the swatch. Yeah, so I do that. And yeah, yeah, and this is where I started that roofing. Yes, I mean it's it's not too difficult. Um, yeah, it's okay, I guess. Uh, what was I trying here? Oh yeah, and I moved that over too as well, because that was kind of <laughs> on the window. Yeah. Uh, they had this kind of trim thingy, I don't know what to call these, huh? but like, it was too big, like, you know, I didn't really like it, so I, I did remove it, and I put the wall height back down, yeah, and yeah, I just added more windows, because why not, yeah, so I used like smaller, just like roof trims, and that's all, so it's not fully looking like the neighbor, but it's okay, it looks nice. Oh, so yeah, I had to kind of tweak because was, the roof was kind of glitching weirdly. Which I guess now looks a bit better. Oh, well, I guess I decided to start somewhere else because I didn't really like that too much. And yeah, so... Um, how to do this? It was okay. Like, it took me a bit of time to get the right heights. Yeah, and also right end, end bits. And yeah, I just did the same thing there. Just two, like, half pyramid. Roof. I don't know what the name was, but yeah, that. and yeah, that, yeah, as you can see, I also wanted to move the door, so yeah, I swapped that. And just, like, made more of those, and I actually removed that one, and I just extended the other ones, because I wanted just full roof there, in the porch area, I guess. I think I do add a porch, if I'm not mistaken, the back, I'm not 100% sure, yeah, so I just add some same wood, or, like, I also, uh, yeah, ch changed the direction of the wood just to match the neighbor's kind of outdoor wood uh, porch. I don't know why I couldn't say that word, but yeah. So yeah, now I'm finally getting to the top area. And yeah, this it looks a lot better. I, think. I don't know if it's the same as before, but yeah, it works. So the roof was not bad. It's a bit weird in some parts, but I mean, it's fine. So yeah, as you can see here, now I'm adding the back porch, so I removed that. And yeah, just... Let me just first add it, and then... Yeah, also wait, made it white. Like, sniper. And then yeah, just... Uh, I was having weird... It was being weird <laughs> here. And I realized it was the reason, because it's like that. So yeah, it's fixed. Okay, so yeah, so, if there was a weird audio cut, sorry, I had to do something, but yeah, so, I also added some columns, as you can tell, and just stairs, I think these are, yeah, the, the white one, the brick, or the kind of mar marbly style, I guess, quartz style, and yeah, just same fence and the neighbor again, I do have more uh, columns later, I didn't use a bigger one, I think I just like this one, it fit more with mine, I guess. And yeah, so now I'm looking for that fence that they had, and I remember that was, I think, the debug, so I'm like, first I'm just trying to look for something that looks similar, that is too off, but obviously none of these are fitting this sort of house vibe, so what I do instead, well, after I try to search here, is look through debug. Obviously that's not the one, the one, I, not that one either, no. And I think I, yeah, I do find it eventually, these ones. And then I also kind of do move the house over so that it fits better with the walls. Yep, and just finishing those. Yeah, there's a bunch. I don't actually go all the way to the end because I feel like it's the backyard is too big. I mean, I guess I could have. Uh, move the house a little bit back, but I like that a bit in the, the kind of small front yard. Yeah, I just added those ones just to be sure that if I wanted to add more walls, just in case. So yeah, I'm, yeah, and I realized I might have I did want it, so yeah, I did that. There's a bit of a kind of a glitchy feel there, but it's, it shouldn't be too much, I think. 
And yeah, I did the same. I think, yeah, the first I actually used the, the one that you have to buy, I do eventually swap it to the one in the debug. And yeah, so, I also add a big patio space, obviously with pool, which I always, almost always add. And yeah, um, um, and then I also wanted to add this gate area, but I decided I'm just going to make this kind of hedge piece, which looks nice, I think. Doesn't look too much out of place, I guess. I mean, I hopefully. Which, I guess I, if there was any other swatch, I probably should have changed that, but yeah. So add this kind of mailbox. I would want to put it in. I think you can use it. I'm not 100% certain. I mean, most cases you can't if it's actually a real fence and you put it in. But I think that's a debug, so I think it should be fine, but I'm not 100%. So yeah, there's like grill area. Obviously, always I always put those like kind of outdoor kind of sitting area, like those things that you see at the pool. And yeah, just finishing up, adding a few more windows, I guess. And also just adding the uh, foundation color. Oh yeah, and also, as always, uh, train painting the bottom of this so that it looks like it's been actually built on this place, not plopped, as it, many sins say. Also little sins, for your reference. And yeah, I'm also now looking for some, like, uh, plants to put there. I like these. They look really nice. See, so, yeah, I just put a lot of those. And yeah, uh, I think I just add more of those. Yeah, so I found that, so I decided to add these instead. And I do put some on the other side as well. Or just all sides. I mean, I could have probably found other debug like bushes that I could put, but I was too lazy, I guess. So yeah, I'm just trying to see. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and that was just like how I'm like think also like thinking like maybe I could try making those debug house builds as like a real house. So maybe I'll like maybe like my next video could be about that. So stay tuned, I guess. So yeah, I'm just also using these. I think these are also. Are they debug? No, no, they, this is not debug, this is actually paid. <laughs> and yeah, so I was too lazy to go back again, so I just did that. Which looks lovely, I think. And yeah, I'm, I decided to, uh, no, not here, I decided to go back to debug again, <laughs> though, <laughs> to look for that same pot of one, yeah, which I did find, which is like nice. I think I do remove some of them, I think. I'm not 100% certain. But yeah, also I did at some point add, yeah, I removed one at least there, it was too much, I think. So yeah. Also at some point added that telescope, as you can see. The small one, they, they added re newly, I guess, not really newly new, but like recent, I guess, I should say. And yeah, also added some like path from the front just to all the way to the back without needing to go in the, the house. And yes, as always, planter boxes. And also like this one, so I just put that there. Yeah, adding more columns as well, so that it feels more finished, I guess, if that makes sense. Just everywhere on the first floor at first, and then the second floor, that some of them will look too weird, so I, I decided to skip that one, I think. I think, it, yeah, or like, I didn't do all of them, if that makes sense. Or like, actually, I did do it different columns. It does stick out a little bit, but... Just don't pay too much attention to it and it'll look fine. <laughs> yeah, so that's... I think that's almost the end. Yeah, just adding a few more bushes, I guess, here and there just to finish it. But yeah, that's it. Yeah, so I just randomly made a uh, family. Oh, one is an alien, actually, but no, no mind to that, I guess. Don't mind that, I mean. And yeah, so... As you can see, there's the entrance and then the... The dining room and then the kitchen, all similar green swatch. It's kind of, it feels like kind of a farmhouse vibe, I guess, in some sense. And then yeah, so like a living room, and then oh, that's first the office, and then the living area here. Which I think the color scheme was really nice. And then the bathroom, I should have probably changed that potty color, but whatever. And yeah, so the teen that goes up to the hallway and to the teens room and to toddler's bedroom, which honestly I really, I think I like that one. I mean, I could have probably improved a little bit, but, uh, and also I should have probably added a rug, as I probably meant that. And yeah, also, same here, which 
And yeah, there's the bathroom. I mean, the ensuite, yeah. No. I, actually, I think I uh, did that. Yeah, there's like so much places that I kind of miss, like rug and stuff. And also, I should have probably put a rug underneath the dining table. And yeah, uh, and a lot of the plants outside are dead because I think it's spring, yeah. It's apparently snowing in spring, but yeah. So then there's a pool, the planter, there's the telescope, and yeah. It's, Overall, I think I really like this build. I mean, I could be biased, but I, I think I enjoyed filming this one. So then I, I think, yeah, I think that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video.